Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to embed a video into a PowerPoint presentation. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's get straight into it. PowerPoint can be a difficult program to work with, and to most people, adding a video can seem almost impossible. But we're here to make the impossible possible in just a few clicks. We'll teach you how to make your PowerPoint presentation stylish and unique by adding videos. Let's run through the step-by-step -step process now. Of course, you'll need to have PowerPoint open on your system. Then click the slide where you want the video to appear in normal view. On the insert tab, click the arrow under video and select this device. Choose the video you want to add and click insert. Basically, by following those three simple steps, you'll have a video inserted into your PowerPoint presentation in no time. Now all that's left to do is show off your presentation. Now that you know how to add videos to your presentations, let's talk about some extra tips to make your presentations look even better. Here's our top five tips. To play a video inside a shape, go to a slide with a video already embedded, double click on the video to open the video tools. You'll see the format and playback tabs up the top, choose the format tab. If a black rectangle appears instead of your video clip, you'll need to add a poster frame to your video. Once your video is working, click the video shape button and choose a shape that suits your needs. The video will then be constrained to the shape you choose. It's important to play your video at least once to make sure nothing important is cut off. Here's how to quickly change presets in just a few steps. On the format tab once again, click the more drop down arrow in the video styles group. Here you can choose a style for your video. To copy formatting, the Format Painter is a fantastic tool that can be found in the Clipboard group on the Home tab. Here's how to use it. To copy formatting from one shape, image or text to another, select the first object and click Format Painter. To copy the formatting, then select the second shape. It is possible that you might have to drag text over. Adding extra media is really simple. Here's how it works. Just use the insert option and choose the type of media you want to add. It's as simple as that. If you're having trouble inserting videos into PowerPoint, here's a few things you can try. This feature is included in newer versions of PowerPoint and allows you to save your presentation as a video file directly from PowerPoint 2010 or later. To do this, go to File and select Export. Then click Create a Video. Choose the settings you want and click Create Video. Choose where you'd like your video saved and press Export. Easy as that. You could also try installing a video codec from a third-party source that's compatible with your video's format. PowerPoint does support a wide variety of formats, but it can still be limited. If you try and play a video or audio file in PowerPoint but the format isn't supported, you'll get the codec unavailable error. To fix this, install a codec pack like Codec Installer that can examine media files and find the codec required for PowerPoint playback. If your PowerPoint file is damaged though, you'll need to repair it. Here's how to repair damaged PowerPoint files with Repair It. Open Repair It on your computer and add all the damaged files by clicking the Add button. You can also drag and drop your files directly in this window. Once the files are uploaded, click the Repair button on the bottom right. The progress bar will tell you how the repair is going and once done, you'll see the repaired files with options to preview or save the files. Well, there you have it. That's how to embed videos in a PowerPoint presentation and what to do if you get stuck. Thanks for watching this video and please comment down below if you have any other thoughts and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Dan and I'll see you next time.